Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Triceratops. Triceratops is an extinct genus of herbivorous chasmosaur and ceratopsid dinosaur that first appeared during the late Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago in what is now North America. It is one of the last known non-avian dinosaur genera, and became extinct in the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event 66 million years ago. Bearing a large bony frill, three horns on the skull, and a large four-legged body, exhibiting convergent evolution with rhinoceroses and bovines, Triceratops is one of the most recognizable of all dinosaurs and the most well-known ceratopsid. Two species, Triceratops horridus and Triceratops prusus, are considered valid today, from the 17 species that have ever been named. Triceratops is estimated to have reached about 7.9 to 9 meters in length, 2.9 to 3.0 meters in height, and 6.1 to 12.0 metric tons in weight. The most distinctive feature is their large skull, among the largest of all land animals. The largest known skull is estimated to have been 2.5 meters in length when complete, and could reach almost a third of the length of the entire animal. A specimen of Triceratops horridus named Kelsey measured 7.3 meters long with a 2 meter skull, stood about 2.3 meters tall, and was estimated to weight nearly 6 metric tons. A Triceratops 8 meters long has been estimated to have massed 9 metric tons. Rhinoceros is an animal that it's often compared to Triceratops, as this animal shows things of convergent evolution, meaning they developed similar features independently. However even the largest of rhinoceros is still dwarfed by the size and weight of an average triceratops, as they only can reach up to 4 meters in length and 2.2 tons in weight. The first named fossil specimen now attributed to triceratops is a pair of brow horns attached to a skull roof, found near Denver, Colorado, in the spring of 1887. The Triceratops holotype was collected in 1888 from the Lance Formation of Wyoming, USA, by fossil hunter John Bell Hatcher, yet Marsh initially described this specimen as another species of Ceratops. Over the years many fossils has been found, bringing to spotlight plenty of new species, however so far only two are valid, while over 15 are synonyms or doubtful species. Only between 1889 and 1891, 31 Triceratops skulls were collected. The fossils has been found in Alberta and Saskatchewan in Canada, and also in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Colorado in United States. Two valid species that are Triceratops horridus and Triceratops prusus are considered by some scientists females and males of a single species. While there are certain differences between the two, such as slightly longer horns, and more upward curved frill for Triceratops horridus, they do not disqualify the idea of being sexually dimorphic animals. There are also two different genus of dinosaurs, Torosaurus and Nidoceratops, which are considered by some scientists as synonyms of Triceratops. Torosaurus skull was very similar to that of a Triceratops, with the biggest difference being two large holes in the frill. They are believed to be juveniles of Triceratops, as placement of the holes corresponds with thin areas in the frill of adult Triceratops, meaning the hole could be closed as the dinosaur grew. As for the Nidoceratops, it's possible that it was a Triceratops with growth pathologies, as the brow horns were almost vertical and frill had holes, which may also be the result of an injury. Like all chasmosaurines, Triceratops had a large skull relative to its body size. The front of the head was equipped with a large beak in front of the teeth. The core of the top beak was formed by a special rostral bone. Behind the toothless premaxilla, the maxilla bore 36 to 40 tooth positions, in which 3 to 5 teeth per position were vertically stacked. The teeth were closely oppressed forming a dental battery curving to the inside. The skull bore a single horn on the snout, above the nostrils. The skull also featured a pair of brow horns approximately one meter long, 
with one above each eye. At the rear of the skull, the outer squamosal bones and the inner parietal bones grew into a relatively short, bony frill, adorned with epoxipitals in young specimens. These were low triangular processes on the frill edge, representing separate skin ossifications or osteoderms. The largest Triceratops skull ever found was discovered in 1992 and excavated in 2003 in Dawson County, Montana, in the Hell Creek Formation. It is a 65 million year old male Triceratops skull, 2.8 meters long, 1.6 meters high and 1.4 meters wide and weighing over 600 kilograms. It has been dubbed Dragon King and is understood to be the most expensive skull to ever trade privately. There has been much speculation over the functions of Triceratops head adornments. The two main theories have revolved around use in combat and in courtship display, with the latter now thought to be the most likely primary function. Triceratops were long thought to have used their horns and frills in combat with predators such as Tyrannosaurus. There is evidence that Tyrannosaurus did have aggressive head-on encounters with Triceratops, based on partially healed Tyrannosaur tooth marks on a Triceratops brow horn and squamosal, the bitten horn is also broken, with new bone growth after the break. Which animal was the aggressor is not known. Since the Triceratops wounds healed, it is most likely that the Triceratops survived the encounter. Tyrannosaurus is also known to have fed on Triceratops, as shown by a heavily toothed, scored Triceratops ilium and sacrum. In addition to combat with predators using horns, Triceratops are popularly shown engaging each other in combat with horns locked. While studies show that such activity would be feasible, if unlike that of present-day horned animals, there is disagreement about whether they did so. Triceratops were herbivorous, and because of their low slung head, their primary food was probably low-growing vegetation, although they may have been able to knock down taller plants with their horns, beak, and bulk. The jaws were tipped with a deep, narrow beak, believed to have been better at grasping and plucking than biting. They functioned by shearing in a vertical to near vertical orientation. The great size and numerous teeth of Triceratops suggests that they ate large volumes of fibrous plant material, with some researchers suggesting palms and cycads, and others suggesting ferns, which then grew in prairies.